The balance of power in Congress is still up for grabs as some of the most contested House races have yet to be determined this noon. For those who have one, though, it's time to get to work. CBS 13's Nicole D'Antiano has more details from Capitol Hill. Welcome to Congress. Newly elected members of Congress arrived on Capitol Hill to begin their orientation. Very exciting. Yeah, yeah. Taking, uh, taking a piece of history right now. It will be a busy week for the new representatives as they learn the ropes, even though they're still waiting to find out which party will be in control. Constituent services are going to be important no matter who's in control. So I've got to get amazing people in our office that can help out. The first vote for new House Republicans will be tomorrow when they decide who will be their party's leader. Current minority leader Kevin McCarthy is favored, but he's facing some opposition. The question of which party controls the Senate was decided over the weekend when Nevada Democrat Catherine Cortez Masto was projected to hold on to her seat, giving Democrats at least 50 votes. There's still one Senate seat left to be determined with Democrat Raphael Warnock and Republican challenger Herschel Walker heading to a runoff on December 6th. South Carolina's Lindsey Graham is the latest GOP senator calling for leadership elections to be delayed until after this Georgia vote. But not everyone agrees. Well, I don't see why we would delay the election since all five or six of our leadership elections are uncontested. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says he plans to speak with Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell soon about how to work together on issues such as avoiding a government shutdown.